Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. A while ago, I did a video talking about everything that was new in the latest version of Adobe Lightroom Classic. In that video, I mentioned that for that release, Adobe included some new adaptive presets. I did not demo them in that video. Instead, I mentioned that in the future, I would do a video demoing the new adaptive presets found in Lightroom. You know, actually, I've never done any videos on Lightroom's adaptive presets. So today, we're going to talk about adaptive presets in Lightroom, what they are, and how to use them. Now, first of all, where are they? Well, if you're in the Develop Module of Lightroom and you go over to the left-hand panel, you can see that Presets tab. Roll that open. Now, your layout is probably a bit different than mine. At the very top of mine, I have the presets that I sell. Of course, if you didn't buy them, you won't have them there. But the very next section, the section below that, are presets that come with Lightroom. And at the very top of that section are the adaptive presets. You can see adaptive portrait, adaptive sky, and adaptive subject. Well, what are adaptive presets and how are they different than a normal, everyday, run-of-the-mill Lightroom preset? Well, if you've used Lightroom at all, you probably know that Lightroom has something called AI masking. And if you have, let's say, a portrait, you want maybe to edit a person's skin, right? You want to soften the skin. Well, with this new AI masking, with a single click, it'll find the skin of a person's face and allow you to edit it independent of everything else. Or it'll find the iris of a person's eyes with a single click, and then you could edit a person's iris. Want to whiten their teeth? Single click, it'll find their teeth, and you could edit their teeth. If you have something like a landscape image with an expansive sky, with a single click, it'll find the sky, and then you could do edits to the sky. If you have something with a subject, you single click, it'll find the subject, allow you to edit the subject. What adaptive preset is, is it takes a number of different AI masks and bundles them together. So with a single click, you could edit a bunch of things at one time. Now, for example, I have this portrait. Let's go to the adaptive portrait section. Let's just hover over enhanced portrait. If you hover over a preset, it will give you a preview of what that preset will look like. So I'm going to hover over the first one, Enhanced Portrait. And you can see it softened her skin, whitened her teeth, and it enha enhanced her irises. It looked like it brightened her eye whiter, the sclera of her eye as well. Let me come off it, and you'll see it before. There's before, and there's after. Glamour Portrait, I'll hover over that. Looks like it enhanced her skin a bit more. There's before, and there's after. Polished Portrait, there's before, or there is the Polished Portrait, and there's after. Gritty portrait. Uh, it looks horrible on this model. Enhance eyes. You just want to enhance a person's eyes and not do anything else. There you go. Enhance eyes. Just whiten their teeth. You can do that as well. Darken a person's eyebrows. Now, if this were a man with a beard, you could darken the person's beard. You could add texture to the hair. There's the hair texture and there's after. You could smooth the person's hair. You could enhance their clothes. Of course, we can't see any clothing in this shot. So for this image, let's just say for the sake of argument, I want to use the enhanced portrait, something simple. So we'll do that. Well, what did it do? I mentioned that it will take a number of different AI masks and apply them at one time. Let's open up masking. And you can see that it has facial skin. I'll just hover over it. And you can see it just found the skin of her face. And if I click on that, we could see what adjustments it did. And basically, wherever the eyeball is lit, that is the section that has adjustments. And you can see it brought texture and clarity down. That's all it did. Uh, go for eye sclera. And you can see here it, in tone section, it increased exposure. And in the color section, it pulled down saturation. Uh, iris and pupil. There's some adjustments there. And you can see wherever the eyeball is lit, that's the section that has adjustments. So in tone for um, iris and pupil, it increased saturation. Or increased exposure, I'm sorry. And for color, it increased saturation. And then down to presence, it increased clarity. And then finally for teeth, it, with one a single click of that preset, it brought up exposure and brought down color, saturation specifically, and that's it. So that basically is everything that an adaptive preset will do is when you click on it, it will go over to the AI masking and apply a number of different AI masks at one time, and it's adaptive because it will adapt itself to each image independently of one another. So let's go on to a different type of image, this image with a sky. 
And let's go to Adaptive Sky. Let's hover over Blue Drama, Dark Drama, Neon Tropics, Storm Clouds, Sunrise, Sunset. I don't care for any of these, but let's just go to Storm Clouds for the sake of argument. We could open up the masking and see what it did. Open up Storm Clouds. And you can see where the eyeballs are lit. Adjustments are down, done there. So in tone, looks like it increased contrast and brought down the blacks slider. For color, it looks like it decreased saturation. Uh, didn't do anything with curve because that eyeball is diminished. Let's go to presence. It looked like it brought up clarity and brought up dehaze. And in detail, it looks like it brought up noise reduction, brought that way up to 80. So that was all the individual AI masks added by clicking on the Storm Clouds Adaptive Preset. Let's go to one more image. Go to this guy here. Let's go to the Adaptive Subject. Let's hover there. We go to Pop. You can see it just brightened up the sailboat. Uh, let's go to Warm Pop, Soft, Cool Soft, Vibrant, and Glow. Well, the glow looks horrible on this. Let's go to Pop. That's the only one I, I remotely liked. And let's see what it did. Let's look at the, um, put a subject mask on. And it looks like it went to tone and it brought exposure up. And then under the presence section, it brought texture to 10 and clarity to 10. Now I am sometimes asks, can you uh, stack presets? And the answer is yes and no. Uh, you can stack a preset, but if similar adjustments were done from one preset to the other preset, the second preset's going to override the settings of the previous preset. For example, on this image here for pop, it has texture at 10 and clarity at 10. If I go to warm pop, it will put that right on top and any adjustments that weren't done for pop, warm pop will be applied. But anything that was done like texture and clarity, if texture and clarity were done for warm pop, it's just going to override those slider settings. For example, texture and clarity for pop are set at 10. If I go to warm pop and then open that up, you can see how texture is now at 20 and clarity is at 10. It just overrode those settings. It doesn't go on top of them. So it didn't make texture 30 and clarity like, I don't know, 20. So let's go to pop again and open that up. And you can see now it's back to texture 10, clarity 10. So if a slider was moved for one preset, and then for the second preset, it was moved to a different amount. When you apply that second preset, it will just override the first preset setting and apply that second setting. Now, on the other hand, if there was something done uh, that wasn't adjusted at all in the first preset, and the second preset has an adjustment, then it will apply it, and it just gets applied. So hopefully that made sense. So you... You know, can you stack presets? Well, yes and no. You really, I guess the short answer would be no, you really can't stack presets. So that is that. Those are adaptive presets in Adobe Lightroom. And this is the same for Lightroom Classic. The other versions of Lightroom, which include the desktop version of Lightroom and Lightroom Mobile and Adobe Camera Raw, it's all the same. All those presets are included uh, when you purchase or rent Lightroom. All those presets are there and you could use them. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.